Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carlson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to deploy Office 365 software updates. So the first thing you need to do is you want to make sure the client setting is enabled. The second step is you want to check the software update component Office 365 client. The third step, you want to run sync software updates. Fourth step, you want to create software update group and, and download. And the final step, deploy software update groups. So now let's get started. So the first thing is to make sure your client settings is configured for Office 365. You go into the administrator and then client settings. I'm going to go with the default client settings, go to properties. And it should be under software updates. And here it is enable management of the Office 365 client agent. You want to make sure it says yes. So that is already configured. <laughs> And the, the second step <clears throat> is you want to make sure check software update components Office 365. All right. So before I do that, I want to show you here, um, if you go to software library and under Office 365 updates, I have nothing here. So I'm going to go to administration going to go to client uh, site configurations choose sites and then right click on my site server you want to choose configure site component software update point you want to go to products actually um, under classification you want to make sure updates is checked and the products, you got to go to find office. Here's office. I must check office 365 client. I'm going to click apply. And then click OK. So that is the second step. The third step, you want to run sync software updates. Going back to server library, I'm going to force the sync under software updates. Or right click and then go to synchronize software updates. The guess. Also, I'm going to run a synchronize software update for Office 365. Click yes. You can look at the log files. It's the wsync log. It should be under the um, configuration manager folder under logs and it's wsync manager I'm going to double click it. so the sync should start in a few minutes let's click on the monitoring so it's going to take some time to sync As you can see, it started. All right. So the synchronization will take a few minutes. Um, it's all depend on your environment. So in my my test environment here, it should take about five ten minutes. For now, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back. All right. Look like it's still uh, syncing. And if I look at the log files here, um, I can see a bunch of Office 365 client updates. And we are at 92% completed. And if I go to server library and under Office 365, I can see Office update being populated. So 
So far, so good. Just going to come back and when it's finished and we'll start the deployment. All right, let's take a look at the log file again. Um, it should complete it already. As you can see, I've done cleaning. So it looks good. Let's take a look at the monitoring um, synchronization. It's green, so that means it's good. It's completed. Now let's, let's take a look at the software library. Here's all the updates are available. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to create software update group and download. So now let's do that. I'm going to see all the requires. I don't have any require. I do have one machine with um, so since this is my test lab I don't have any requires I recommend that you look at the require if it has a lot of required you just click on it and um, and download it so for example if I want to download this updates or all the green ones I just click on it click on them and then right click create software update groups so I'm going to call this office 365 feature updates the month is November I'm going to put November 2019 this is an example, so create, click on create, and now if you go to self edit groups, here is the, the group just created. So the next thing you do is you're going to download this package or this updates. You're going to right click and click on download. You can add it to the existing package or you can create a new package I'm going to create a new package I'm going to put it in these locations I'm going to call this I'm going to call it the same name as the um, software edit groups so go to properties oops so I'm going to type it out oop I misspelled there so it's office 365 Future updates November 2019. Gonna, I'm going to copy this path and I'm going to put it here and let's give it a name again Office 365. You can put in a description if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click next. I'm going to add to a distribution point and click next and click next. Oops, I went too fast, so it should be downloaded from the internet. Click next, English, next, and next. So it should start downloading. Here it is. I'm going to let it download and for now I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back. Alright, look like the download has completed. I got all of the contents here and everything is green on this side. 
I'm going to click close. Now let's refresh. So as you can see here, deploy is no, download is yes. So now let's deploy this. I'm going to right click and click on deploy. Actually, one second. Um, let me go back to my instruction. Okay, so the instruction number five is to deploy software update group. So you want to go to software update groups here and then click on deploy. Right click and then deploy. I'm going to call this the same as my software update groups. You can choose the collection. All system devices. Okay, next. Required. I'm going to choose client local time as soon as possible. And if I want to schedule in the evening, I can choose specific time. But for the testing, I'm just going to set as soon as possible. Click next. I'm going to display software center and show notification for restart. I'm going to click, I'm going to deadline behaviors. That's fine, maintenance windows. I don't need to suppress. I'm going to check this box. So if any pending updates, it's going to install, it's going to evaluate and then install those updates. I'm click next and next you want to make sure you download software update from distribution point and install Op deployment options download and install from distribution point site boundary groups that's fine check these two boxes it's going to download from a, a boundary groups uh, the neighbors or site boundary groups or the dp is not available it's going to download the contents from the internet. Click next. I recommend check these two boxes. And looks good. I'm going to click next. All green. That means it's good. So I'm going to close it. That's it, folks. So that's how you deploy Office 365 feature updates. And if you have any question, please put in the comment section. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.